Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be ranking every single Skylanders gimmick. The gimmick of the games are what the new toys are, basically. What was the gimmick of Giants? It was the Giants. What was the gimmick of Swap Force? The swappable Skylanders. And what was the gimmick of Trap Team? Trapping Villains. You get the point. Also, there is a gimmick for Skylanders Spies Adventure, and we will get there later when we get to its rank. But let's get right into the ranking. Okay, so in last place, yeah, it's Giants. I know it feels like I put Giants always lower in the list, but... I do like the game, whatever. Okay, so the gimmick, while yes, it's cool having the big giant characters, it doesn't really affect the gameplay that much besides having the feat of strengths. And that's really it. The gimmick barely affects the game, and because of that, I have to put it in last place just because it really doesn't affect the game that much. Coming in fifth place is Superchargers. The only reason why this gimmick is not in last place is because at least it affects the game. This gimmick is kind of like the opposite of Giants. I like to play with the gimmick in Giants, but the gimmick is not that good in Giants. While I don't like to play with the gimmick in Superchargers, but the gimmick is kind of okay in Superchargers. And I know I've said I really do not like the vehicle sections, but I can at least, you know, they, I can see they at least tried. Even though I don't like the gimmick or how it plays out at all, I can't justify it putting higher than the game where the gimmick doesn't affect the gameplay at all. Alright, so I said I would explain the gimmick of SSA when we get there, and we're here now. The gimmick of SSA is bringing toys to life. That's the gimmick of the game. Toys to life, which became the genre, was the gimmick of the first game. And it is a good gimmick. Now, of course, after this gimmick, they couldn't just have bringing toys to life be the gimmick anymore, because they already did that. For our first game, this is a good gimmick, but when you try to stack it up to the other gimmicks that come later, it's just simply not as good in my opinion, but this gimmick will always be the OG gimmick that started it all, and that's why it gets 4th place. In 3rd place, we got Swap Force. At the time this game came out, my little kid brain exploded when I, and I could not understand just how you could split apart two Skylanders and make a new one. It was such an imaginative idea, and it was so cool, and it, it still really is. And just for that, this, this gimmick is really good, but how it plays out, sadly, I don't think is as good. I usually do not swap the Skylanders that much when I use them, and that's really because I don't think there are any swap combinations that are better than the original ones, except for Magna Shift and Rattle, Shake, uh, Rattle Ranger, sorry. Those combos are pretty broken, but besides that, I think every single swapper in their original form is their best swap form, which is why I usually don't swap them at all, and why it doesn't get higher on this list. Second place is Trap Team. This is another one where my kid brain exploded. I was like, what? You could play as the villains now? That's so cool, and I think something that more games should do. That you should be able to play as villains. I think that's such a cool thing. But just like Swap Force, when it comes to gameplay, this is where the gimmick suffers a bit. I don't think it suffers as bad as, as Swap Force, though. I usually do not play as the villains that much because I don't think a lot of them are as good as the Skylanders. There are so many villains that didn't even need to be there, like Buzzard Beak or Rage Mage. I think it would have been way better if the villains just had one Doom Land Upper Element and maybe two regular villains to get rid of the useless villains that we really didn't need. But besides that, this gimmick is super cool and, you know, like I said, really, imagin really imaginative. And I think more games should do this. And in Skylanders Trap Team, um, I know whenever I'm on low health, a villain's got my back. Okay, coming in first is Imaginators. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Imaginators, but you're telling me that creating your own Skylander is not a cool gimmick? Yeah, that's totally not cool. Like I said in my ranking of every roster video, I know a bunch of people don't like the game, but they still give credit to the character creator. I'm not joking when I say this, but I think that Imaginators has one of the best character creators ever. You can really make any Skylander you want. There are so many parts, colors, and weapons. It's so good. And the thing that pushes it over the edge is that you could have gotten your own Skylander 3D printed and sent to you. You can't do that anymore because I think they got rid of that in 2017. But during Imaginator's peak, you could have gotten your own Skylander 3D printed like any other Skylander and got it sent to you. The Imaginator's gimmick is super cool and it works so well. And that's why it gets first place on the list. It's such a good gimmick. Okay guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, tell me um, your rankings of the gimmicks in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching.